وبعدنا موسى سلاسین اللہ اینڈ وی اپوائنٹیڈ وتھ موسا میرے اپوائنٹمنٹ وتھ موسا فار تھرٹی نائٹس کم ٹو دی ماؤنٹین آف ٹور میڈیٹیٹ ہیئر بعد نہ موسا اور بائی نہ لے لیتے ہیں وات مم نہ بے آشرے اینڈ دین وی کمپلیٹیڈ اٹ وتھ مور ٹین فتم ممی قات اور اب ہی اور بائی نہ لے لا سو دی اپوائنٹیڈ ٹائم آف اس لارڈ واز کمپلیٹیڈ ٹو فورٹی ڈیز ہیئر اٹ از نائٹس فورٹی ڈیز اینڈ نائٹس اینڈ ناؤ ہیئر فرام ہیئر یو نو دیز مسٹکس یو نو دے ہیو ایکسٹریکٹیڈ اینڈ انفر دی آئیڈیا آف چلا also the tablighi jama you know chilla 40 days and nights if you remain you know just cut off from your family cut off your from business you are you know only involved in salah and you know zikr and propagating the word of allah and message of allah it's different what they are propagating but you know this methodology is quite sound if you go away from your surroundings and you remain in an environment where there is deen there is the best you know all the deeds of deen they are performed you know he that person will not be praying any prayer except with with congregation for 40 days so this helps a person to 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 change you know his direction and course of his life wa wa'adna musa salasina laylatan wa atmamnaha bi 20 fa tamma miqat rabbihi 40 laylatan wa qala musa li akhihi harun and musa said to his brother harun harun was the elder brother but you know he was an assistant a wazir to him ukhlufni fi qaumi take my place among my people to aslih and try to keep the things reformed wala tatabi sabil almufsidin and don't follow the path of the mischief mongers This was the advice, the parting advice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has called me. I'm going to tour. Now you be my vastirant here. And you take my place. You look after the affairs of the community. But you don't follow those who are the mischief mongers. But try to reform them. وَلَمَّا جَا مُوسَى لِمِيقَاتِنَا وَكَلَّمَهُ رَبُّهُ A very interesting incident which had happened, you know. And when Musa came... On the appointed time, time appointed by us, Miqatena, wa kallamahu Rabbuhu, and his Lord had a conversation with him. Qala Rabbi arini anzuri laik. Now the desire, you know, rose up in his heart and he requested, Oh my Lord, show me thyself. I may see you. I may look at you too. I, I may behold you. Rabbi Arani Andurilay. Qala Lantarani. Allah said, No. You can never see me. Walakin Unzurilay Jabal. But you fix your gaze on that mountain. Fainistakarra Makanahu Fasafatarani. I will throw one of my tajallis over the mountain. This will come later. If it, can, if it can stand it, bear it, fast, fast in its place, then you also hope that you can see me. فَلَمَّا تَجَلَّا رَبُّهُ لِلْجَبَلِ When his Lord shined to the mountain. Now this is shining, tajalli, shining. He sent down a shining of his own person. On the mountain. فَلَمَّا تَجَلَّا رَبُّهُ لِلْجَبَلْ Three were shining of his own on the mountain. Or you may translate it, he shone to the mountain. But shone, S-H-O-N-E. Shine, shone, shone. He himself shone, his own person. Or he threw a shining of his person on the mountain. فَلَمَّا تَجَلَّا رَبُّهُ لِلْجَبَلْ جَعَلَهُ دَكَّرْ He, it made the, that, uh, that mountain crumble to dust. وَخَرَّ مُوسَى سَعِقَى And Musa also fell down unconscious. فَلَمَّا فَاقَى When he recovered, قَالَ He said, سُبْحَانَ Glory be to you, O my Lord. تُبْتُ إِلَيْكُ I 
turn to you for forgiveness. I repent to you. One of the Mu'minin, then I am the first who believes in you. Whatever you said that you can't see me, well, I believe fully in it. Allah ya Musa inni astafatu qala nas bi risalati. And he said, O oh Musa, I have made you superior and chosen you above all a whole of the mankind. With by my messages, wa bi kalami, and by my conversation. This conversation while on this earth, nobody else except Moses had with Allah. Not even Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We must admit. Tilka rasul faqdalna ba'dahum ala ba'as. You know this can be a fazila, partial fazila, total fazila, total superiority belongs to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Over all the messengers and prophets. But partially, in some one aspect or the other, some other messenger might have some something, you know, more than Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was given. Just as the miracles, the visible miracles, the topmost were given to Hazrat Isa. We have read in Surah Al-Baidah. In the same way, وَكَلَّمَ اللَّهُ مُوسَىٰ تَكْلِيمَ In Surah Al-Nisa, we read it. And Allah had a conversation with Moses, just as conversation is done. Not, you know, it's not an istara. Qala ya Musa, in istafaytu qala nasi bi risalati wa kalami wa bi kalami fa khuz ma ataytu qala kum min al-shakri. Now hold fast to what I'm giving to you. And be from amongst the grateful. What he was giving? Torah. And he has called Moses there to give him Torah. And I, you know, in the last, last Friday sermon, I told you, that although the messengers of Allah, the prophets, they are innocent from the very birth. But still, to receive the word of Allah, they had to undergo very strict, you know, spiritual exercise, you may call it, to be able to receive the word of Allah. This spiritual exercise, this meditation, keeping fast for 40 long days, it was necessary for Musa. To be able to get and receive Torah from Allah. The same is given in Injil about Hazrat Masih. It is not mentioned in the Quran, but in Injil it's mentioned 40 days. Again, there are 40 days. We know that Muhammad Sasam used to go to Ari Hira, cave of Hira, meditate there for days and nights together. And that was necessary. This was, so to so say, a spiritual exercise. So that the soul, the spirit of that person becomes strong enough. To receive the word of Allah. So that was it. Qala ya Musa in istafaytu qala al-nasi bi risalati wa bi kalami fa khud ma ataytuka wa kum min al-shakirin wa katabna alahu fil al-wahi min kulli shayi mu'izatan. And we wrote for him on the tablets, the stone tablets, the admonition and exhortation for everything good wa tafsilan li kulli shayi and details of everything. What does it mean everything? Details of chemistry and physiology and bot botany? No. Details of the things which are necessary for guidance. Guidance in this world. Which we pray to Allah. This guidance. Whatever is needed for this guidance. Details of all those things. We wrote down in those tablets. وَكَتَبْنَا لَهُ فِي الْأَلْوَاحِ مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْنْ مَوْعِزَةً Admonition and you know exhortation for something good and details of everything which are essential for guiding the man in his conduct in this world. And we said, now hold fast to it, hold it with your full strength. And you command your people also. You should hold to it and the best of it. Best thereof. Because, you know, in, our, in all the deen, there are levels which higher. Lower also permissible. There are, you know, realized concessions also. Because there are weak people also. Strong people also. People of strong will power. People of not so strong will power. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accommodates them also. This is a higher level, you go. If you can't, okay, this is the concession. 
now take the best of it try to have the highest level try to reach the highest level why to be contented with less what happens to us is we are contented with the less in religion but the best in this world we are after the best we are trying we are spending all our time capabilities all the faculties allah had bestowed upon us in having more and more and more and better and better and better of this world hai jistuju ke khoob ke hai khoob se khoob tar kaam but we are contented oh, okay this is also sufficient this minimum is also allah acceptable to allah what allah says you try to reach the highest level in religion and make yourself contented with the minimum of this world this should be our attitude ya khudu bi ahsanha sawrikum dar al fasiqin i shall show you soon the abode of the transgressors